Hello, my name is Nod Lammers of Team Northwest Warriors, and this is my second place Speed Droid Wind Witch deck. Um, I took this to the locals. Um, I went 2 1 and was able to get second place with this deck. That uh, I did, I, of course, I tied. There was, it was the best of three, but I, so I tied. But uh, second place is not bad for a Speed Droid Wind Witch deck, as I think, although I really did li live off these girls. So I'm going to go through the main deck, the extra deck. And as for the side deck, um, I'll talk about it just real quick, uh, just to get it out of the way. Because, uh, of course, you always play what you know, so I always play, uh, I usually use my side deck to witch hunt a deck. So, uh, that being, uh, this is for uh, True King Dinos, by the way, the Zombie Worlds and Terraformings. Um, this combo right here is so powerful against dinosaurs, it's not even funny. Um, that's actually how I won one of my games, was... The last game I had was game for match, and I set out, I set mistake, uh, set, and the band played on. I flipped it over uh, on his turn, and he couldn't do anything. All right, anyway, let's get into the main deck. First of all, triple win witch. Uh, is that ice spell? Yeah. Triple ice spell because you have to run her at three because we don't have terror top anymore, and my camera is actual trash. Um, but yeah, so you want to run her because you can special summon her. Uh, she can burn, she special summons another one. She's really good. Um, two glass spell. Uh, I've never really needed to run her at more than one. She is your tuner, for the, at least one of your two tuners that you can use. Uh, she searches out a Wind Witch when she special summon, and you always special summon her off of her. Uh, this deck really is a one card deck. You always want to open her. And lastly, I run the one, I believe this is Snowbell. Um... I need another Snowbell. I would like to get another one, run her at two, just in case um, I open with it. Uh, I get another one of those, because if I can make a... I don't have a recyclability for her, so that's my main issue, is um, recycling that one. I can't do a lot of that. Uh, but anyway, there's your Win Witch engine. Um, I would bump her to two. I don't know. I don't necessarily know what I'd take out, but yeah. Anyway, moving on into, that's it for the Wind Witches, by the way. You only just run those ones, um, except for the extra deck, but we'll get into that. First, uh, first we'll go with speed droids that we're running at three and move our way down to twos and ones. So I only really run two speed droids at three, um, and that's because you kind of have to run these ones at three, at least in my opinion, which is red-eyed dice. I swear to God, you cannot run this guy at less than three in this deck, just because he's the main tuner. Um, next up is your level 3 tuner, which is Die Die Duke. I like Die Die Duke, I think he's cool, he recurs your tuners, so he's basically like a speed recovery, but only for speed droid tuners. And since I actually don't have very many of those in this deck, considering that you only run those two as their tuners, yeah. Um, but don't worry, stuff comes back enough that you, you will always be synchroing. Uh, as for the two ofs, let me move these guys a little bit. Uh, try and keep them in frame. Two bamboo horse, or horse stilts, whatever you call them. I call him bamboo horse, that's how I learned his name, so. Uh, basically, he's like a reverse version of double yo-yo. These guys are kind of the same. Um, so the reason I say that they're kind of the same is because yo-yo, whenever he summoned, he summoned, he is able to special summon a level 3 or lower speed droid from the grave, so one of their tuners. And whenever he's normal summoned, he can special summon a level 4 or lower speed droid from the hand, so Grave Hand. Uh, it's really cool because he can make, uh, he's really good for your Xyz plays. Um, he can make rank 1s, uh, if you summon off the dice you can change his level to 1 and make a rank 1, but it's not consistent enough to do it. Uh, his is um, to make the 4, uh, especially if you're running like level 4 synchros. Um, now, yeah, level 4 synchros, you can make some neat Xyz monsters. Alright, uh, let's go into the next two of, which is... Um, uh, two Pachinko Kart. I, I don't know if I like him anymore, but he's useful in the deck for some reason. He's a name, essentially. And he lets you dump the uh, Die Die to the grave. And he's an 1800, he's kind of big. So, he's neat. Oh! He's also a Foolish Burial for Wind Monsters, so if you banish him... You can't activate it to turn any sense of the graveyard, of course. But um, um, if you banish him, you can send Die Die and Special Summon the dice off of the effect. It's 
really cool. Or like if you have speed recovery, you can banish him and like dump a terror top or tombert or whatever. Um, I run two Menko, he's the hand trap, uh, stops OTKs. Uh, this is a card that I always ran at one in my older builds, but I got a second one. My buddy got me one. And I started running a second one, and I, I guess I like it. It's about as consistent as the old one, which is a two Tectomberg. Uh, and maybe the reason I like him more at two now is because, and the reason I think I see him more is because our good boy Terratop got hit the one, but because we're speed droids, we still play the one. Um, yeah, our Stratos, our Searcher got hit, which is very sad. Um, cry myself to sleep. Just make it so you can't special summon stuff but wind. Just put the wind claws on him. For real. Um, I'm gonna... Anyway, that's it for the main deck. Uh, I'm just, by the way, I'm not really explaining the cards, and that's just because if you're looking at a deck list for a deck, I assume you know the general idea of the deck. <laughs> Anyway, let's go into spells. Uh, first of all, let's play Best Monster Reborn Ever, Speed Recovery. Uh, special Summon a Speed Droid from the Graveyard, including the Synchro Monster. You, you can use this as Special Summon the Synchro Monsters as well, and then you can banish it from the Graveyard and add one to your hand. Meaning if you have no field and a Terra Top in the Grave, you can banish it, grab the Terra Top, and go off. It's one of the best support cards I've ever seen. I've ever played. Um... Going on to more Monster Reborn stuff, this is uh, Gospel of Revival or Return of the Dragon. I always call it Gospel. Um, basically, this is the revive Clear Wing and Crystal um, and protect them a little bit. I really like the idea of this card in the deck. That's why I like it at two because I want to see it. Uh, because basically, what you do is you go into Crystal and then you bring back the Clear to back them up. Um, I run two MST um, just for back row removal. This deck doesn't have a lot of that. And for the one ofs, Limiter removal because we're playing machines. Foolish Barrel because we got targets for it. Uh, and Dark Hole for a Border White. Uh, I guess you could be like, oh, you could play Rugeki. Yeah, well, my stuff can special summon itself from my hand, so I don't care. Uh, yeah, uh, that's it for the spells. Uh, going into the traps, which we play, I think it's about five traps. Um, eh, six traps. Uh, so first off, we're running the Solemn Brigade, which thank god I actually got more copies of these cards. Uh, Solemn 2, Solemn Strike, Focus, and a Solemn Warning. Uh, I like this ratio. Uh, yeah, you could run 3 Solemn Strike, but I only I only have the one playset, and I have 5. I have 5 Strikes, so I only have the one playset. I don't have another one, but even if I did have a third one, it'd probably go in another deck. Um, or at least if I did have two playsets. Then I run... Bottomless dark, bottomless dark hole and deep dark trap hole. Um, I think that these two are probably the best ones in the format right now. Um, let me move these up. I think that these two cards are probably the best, the two trap holes that are best in the format, basically because this just straight banishes. This destroys and banishes, so it's not as good. I'm thinking, but this can hit a lot more stuff than this can. Um, but this is so useful. Um, I want to swap them out and see, like, I want to put in two Deep Darks, but I only have the one, so, yeah. And lastly, one Redice Cycle. I have won games off this card, leave me alone. Um, basically, it revives a tuner, you roll a dice until the end of the turn, that Speed Droid tuner is treated as that level. Um, you can also banish the card from the graveyard and Synchro Summon using um, only monsters you control. I really wish it was like a Necro Synchro where it used the graveyard. Um... But yeah, that's it for the main deck. Um, I like this deck. This deck is probably the funnest deck I own, honestly. It's a really fun deck. Um, probably up there with Dino Mists. Alright, so as for extra, I'm going to just... Uh, for the extra, I'm going to start with the Xyz Monsters, which I run one copy of Totem Bird because we can make a three using Terror Top. And one copy of Lightning Chidori because we can make a four using most of the non-tuners in the deck. Um... These cards have saved me a few times. I've utilized them to the best that I can in matches, so I like them. I, li I like these choices over some of the other ones. I think, uh, considering Chidori is kind of like a wind-exclusive cast jill, it's kind of neat. Uh, next up, uh, for the Synchros, I run two high-speed Chanbar. Uh, I think he is probably the best speed droid Synchro. I don't think there's one that's better than him, in the slightest. 
Uh, going into finishing off the five, I run one alley of Justice Catasser. I think he's good. The only six, Chan Bar. Oh, Kendama. Move some of these guys up. Ooh, let me go there. There we go. Okay. Uh, going into the sevens, there's actually quite a few. One copy of Black Rose. Yeah, for board wipe. This is one of the other reasons. Uh, one copy of Winterbell. Um, basically, she's just the one you go into for the uh, Win Witch combo. Uh, here he is. And I two copies of Clearwing Synchro Dragon. Just because this deck spams out that monster and it locks you into wind. So you want more wind monsters in your extra deck than anything. So you'll notice like most of my stuff is wind. Um, just because this deck happens to lock you into wind a lot. But it's okay because it's a Synchro deck and actually there's a lot of great wind monsters. Uh, for our eights, one Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Of course, can't run the deck without him. One Stardust Dragon, because Stardust is another eight that I can make because I don't own another copy of, uh, what's his name, Clear Crystal. And one Enlightenment Paladin. I actually really like Enlightenment Paladin. I've been messing around with him. I think he's really good. Um, I was able to do a lot of game. I was able to burn for quite a bit, um, like 2,000 a few turns um, using him. So yeah. Uh, going into, I have a 9 and a 10 as well. Mistworm because Trishula is not, I owned a Trish, I traded it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got it to trade though, so it was fine. Uh, this I prefer in this deck. This is the only deck I can ever make a card like that in. So I prefer Mistworm just because it's wind and it does the same thing. And one Nirvana High Paladin because screw it, I can make it and I just want to use them. Um, because he matches with my cover cards. He matches the other cover cards, that's why. But yeah, I like, I like this lineup for him. Uh, there's probably some better lineups, like swapping out the Stardust for a, uh, another Crystal, but, um, I don't know. And someone's probably going, why are you running the Enlightenment over something else? And that's because I play a Buster Blader player on the regular. A Buster Blader player on the regular. There's a lot of R there. Um, a Buster Blader player on the regular. And I need an 8 that's not a dragon. So, yeah. Uh, this is my 7 that's not a dragon. And then everything else is machines. Which is really good. Because you... I guess, like, when you're fighting Buster Blader, you don't want to do that. Which is good. So. That is my speed droid deck. And again, I guess I'll... Uh, I already ran through the side. Again, pl always play what you're... Like, what you're... Local, like, I always try to hard counter my locals whenever I go into my side deck. So, like, I have stuff like uh, DD Crow, uh, Max C, a couple Prohibitions. Uh, the newest addition is a uh, Double Zombie. Now, again, I share my side deck with, like, all my decks. So, Double Zombie World, double ter Triple Terraforming, uh, uh, Mistake and Arrest, and Two Mistakes, which should be Three Mistakes, and Three and the Band Played On. Um, this is the most solid uh, side deck I've made. I feel like this is the best one, and especially, like, the best quote-unquote budget one I can make right now. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys like the deck list. I love this deck. This deck is super fun. I highly recommend playing speed droids. Um, Chen Barra can be a little... Again, my extra deck... <laughs> the extra deck I own is not the cheapest thing. Um, especially you. Um, I think, I actually think, uh, he's gone down in price, but yeah, um, everything in here, I guess Totem, I forget if Totem Bird's actually kind of expensive or not, um, I remember him just being important, um, to the deck, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys liked the deck profile, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, I hope you guys enjoyed me going off and rambling about random stuff a couple times and talking about how trash my camera is, um, so yeah. This is uh, Not Lambers of Team Northwest Warriors, and I'm signing out.